Well, I'm going to tie me go to salmon fly. It's a pattern I tie from big four inch wing scandies down to size 12 doubles. Today I'm going to tie a medium size scandy. It's a fly. I call it Willy Dog. I've been tying it for about seven years. And I've had really good success with it. And it fishes really well and a whole lot of rivers in the peaty water. So and other lads I've given them two caught plenty of fish on them. So start off with some 198 in a turban. Melt the end back. Now I don't use the hard out of tubing, I didn't like it because I think when you stick a hook in it, it acts like a lever, and just like a long shank hook. Lose a few fish, so I just use soft silicon rubber tubing. This is fluoro yellow. Put it on to where I'll lengthy going to tie the body. This one on me at the body. Yeah, three quarters of an inch, two centimetres. Trim that down a bit short of what you need because you're going to stretch it and then save all that excess in front of the pin. Cut the tube back. I'm ready to go. I'm tying with Vivas. Oh, why that's upside down, I don't know. It was 10 or thread. And I start at this end on the small tube and then go backwards and forwards on and off the silicon to tie it down to the soft plastic, here yeah, to the inner plastic. Turn the end and then Grab it from their end and stretch the silicon along the inner tube. It makes the bodies a bit thinner, but yeah, it doesn't seem to make the fish. And I'm going to do most of the body anyway. I like to do this way if I make uh, very slim flies for the sea trout. Works out well. Some rays and things like that I use in the estuary in the tidal waters. Tag is silver holographic braid. Make that about a yeah, quarter of an inch or around about five mil if you want to be metric. Turn that off. Yep. Fluorescent yellow fluorofiber. Body fluoro yellow ice tube. They've changed the, the design now. It used to be all tangled fibers before, now it's all flashy single strands, which makes it a bit more awkward to tie in. You don't get a nice heavy body, but crumble it up a bit before trying. Make it more like the original. And then stretch it back out. I 
I don't wrap it all the way down the thread. I tend to just wrap the first bit, grab the end, then when you wrap it on, it twists itself on the thread and it goes on like a rope a lot tighter. Trouble with these fibres, I end up with them everywhere. Tape it a bit and spread the hack out. Some stick with a bit with a belt. So we have a nice fluffy, vibrant body. If it's too long, I very rarely cut it off. Just pull it with your fingers to get it to the length what you want. Change the thread to black. No need to tie the yellow off and just whip over the top of it. Trim that. Wonder wing. Orange. This is Marble Fox. Really nice stuff. This is a lot longer than the normal fox tail. Arctic fox tail. And the under fur is quite long, so if you want big flies, long flies, I mean that there is probably four, four and a half inches long to make if you want re really big scandies. I'll be what making one that big on this fly, but it's not going to be small. Comb that out with a good old dog flea comb to get the rough stuff out. There's now much under furs in. Push the other end. Since I'm not using it as a really long fly, I'll take the, the longest of these guard hairs out to shorten it. And they'll get used for summarise. And a bit thick that for where I want. I'll push it out again. Perfect. You know, a lot of people when they come to tape of the wing they pull the middle out. I, I've got a different approach. I fold her over and then pull it from that end, the bottom, and that gives you a nice taper at the other end. There's some of these thick guard hairs underneath. Squeeze it, there's your taper. You can pull the top strands a bit longer to get that nice taper. And get your length, what you want. So it's spread across the top. Two fingers and a thumb. I tend to start in the middle of where I'm going to tie down and work backwards and I'll show you why. 
this fly, I sometimes I tie them with discs on the front and the hackle all over the front, but this is gonna have, have the two wings over the hackle, so and just an ordinary dressed whipped head. So there's the underwing. I'll get rid of this up oh. as short as I can. If I'm tying a disc on the front and putting numerous hackles on, I would have just cut that with a sharp knife, but seems I'm dressing the head and get rid of them fibres. And then set of super glue, which I don't like because it makes a gun head and makes before you can whip it down, just a dog of super glue of varnish. Varnish I use is just normal nail varnish and cut the brush down to whatever size you want for putting it on instead of messing about with the needle. Whip that down, wipe off the excess varnish, and I tend to find this fly works better with a lot of flashing. And the flash I use for it is very fine. The angel hair. Some of the angel hair is quite thick. It's and the people only put a couple of strands in, but with this fly, I tend to use, and I've found it does fish better with quite a bit of the angel hair in. So I'll get that to get with that a bit. Bring the end uh, where you want the, or I'll end the, the black probably just past the orange. So I'll put that on. Pull it back a bit. Loose wrap. Got the two hands, pull that back, spread it out a bit. And then go through that with the, the comb. It does look a lot of flash, but when you see it in the water under the black wing, it looks good, and I think it's a good attraction with a gold flash dangling behind the wing. So. Now for hackle. I don't put a big hackle on this. And the hackles I use, uh, they're like half soft, half normal hen. So, it's a bit long that one. I just like a short hackle so it chews the body off more. That's about right. Straight the bottom. Over the years, I can gauge by the length of the hackle piece how many turns I can get. And pull that down. Easy if you moisten it. Put the little triangle. Apply it. I'll just use that edge of my scissors to fold the fibers back a bit. Moisten my fingers. Doesn't hurt to wet your, wet your hackle, and it makes it a lot easier to tie in, especially when you're using like chickaboo fibres. It's really soft, and, and then you get a nice finish. Bring that round. And then whip in from right on the edge of where you've pulled the fibres off. Bend the stem back against the, the, the thread. And fold it down on line with the head.
if you do it this way and you get a thick stem, just squash it down with your nail. This is easy. Make that just a bit longer. Over wing, marble fox again in black. Get some nice fibers out of this. I don't want to pour really thick over wing over it, so it gives it the angel here show through a bit. Again, that's a bit thick. Get a few fibers out. See them again, pull it from this end. A nice thin, thin taper at the other end, squash your flat your fingers, then go that way. There's your taper. Yeah, I should have worn a lighter shirt. Over the top, maybe just past the gold. One finger on top, couple of loose turns till you make sure it's where you want it. If you look, the flash is probably just on line with the end of the the overwing. Trim that off. Dab of varnish. Now what I do now is take it out off the pin, trim the tube and back, cut to a couple of milli, then melt that back to the thread. But be careful because if you go too near it, you'll burn your thread. So we just use the, the heat from the flame to melt it back. Perfect. And now I'll put the jungle coat on. Right, in fact, I'm not going to bother on this one. I've caught plenty of fish without. Now, if you want, you can add jungle coat. But I've caught plenty of fish on that fly without it. So all you do now, with you having that nice lip, you can shape the head in a nice tapered shape. If you notice it's nice and thin at the tip and the swim's great. This fly fishes really well. I've had it's me go always me go to fly a big scandy a big scandy one of these in highish coloured water and my local river if you see that how dirty the water is what we catch fish on on the fly you wouldn't believe it. I've got Another video on YouTube, sea trout and dirty water, and it just shows the colour of what we catch fishing. The water I'm finishing, fishing in is like dairy milk chocolate. We finish, cut it off, that'll get two, maybe three quarts of varnish, and that's my willy dog. Thanks for watching. Cheers.